Okay, if you're still struggling with your dog on a leash, I'm gonna show you today what it is that you're doing wrong. This is so minute, it's very easy to overlook, and I'll get messages from people that say things like, hey, I'm using the Herm Springer prong collar, but it just doesn't work for my dog. Or I watched the structured walk video and my dog still pulls, they're just not listening to me. Okay, I set this video up a little bit differently because I want you guys to see what's happening while I'm explaining it. So this is one of our dogs, Freddy. He's not really doing anything crazy reactive, but watch what happens as this walk progresses. He starts to pull out in front and the owner's constantly giving him little tugs, trying to get him to stay back next to him as he moves forward. Right there, right there, right there. And watch Freddy, you can see him disengage and start to really pull out. But again, he's not being crazy reactive. This is what most people are missing and this is why you feel like your dog's checked out and not listening to you because your dog is checked out not listening to you. So look at this. Look at Freddie's head, look at his ears, watch his body language, and the handler pops on the leash again and he still, doesn't matter, doesn't phase him one bit. Pops on it again, doesn't phase him one bit. Look where that leash, look at the tension in that leash. First, let me say this, look how far out in front of the handler Freddie is. Almost all of his body. Then go back here. His prong collar is designed to sit all the way up here next to that jaw and under those ears, not down here. Right here, that mid neck, that base of the neck, that's the strongest area on your dog. I mean, next to down here where a harness would go. This is so strong. If you, I don't care what equipment you have on your dog. If your dog wants to go, they're gonna go. They'll pull you down the street. The reason you put it up here is because you're gonna get the most out of your dog, meaning you'll get their attention quickly by using the least amount of pressure. This, you should never have tension in your leash. When you're walking your dog, the only time there should be tension is if you're turning and going the other way and your dog's not following you and you need to get their attention. One more thing to point out, look at Freddie's ears. Well, look at his whole head. I mean, everything about him says, there's just some guy holding me back from doing something better. There's nothing that Freddie's actually going to lunge out at. He's just really excited because this is a new environment. So how do you get that relationship? Before we move on, I wanna make sure that I address that wasn't too much pressure for Freddie. That's a colleague of mine. I asked him to let Freddie's collar slip down, let him disengage. It's important that you guys see that stuff so you know where to make those adjustments with you and your dog. First thing I'm gonna do is slide that collar up. When I'm in a new environment or I have a dog that doesn't know the foundation yet or that I'm still struggling with that relationship, I'm not walking around the block. I'm gonna stay short distances and I'm gonna walk back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I wanna eliminate the amount of distractions and I wanna make sure that I can give that dog quick feedback. Every time he pulls out in front of me, I give him a little bump and I pull him back towards me. And when he catches up, I tell him, good job. And then we go forward again. This is how I build that relationship. This is how I teach the dog. Staying right next to me is what I'm asking of you. When I keep my distance short, that means I have to constantly do turns. And when I'm constantly doing turns, I'm constantly engaging with that dog. That means I use less pressure on that leash and I get to reward my dog more often so they learn very quickly what it is I'm asking of them. Okay, this piece of information is vital. You didn't see in that last clip, but every several steps I had to stop and adjust Freddie's collar from down here to back up here. Just by walking every few steps, it would start to slide. The reason is Freddie's in that in-between stage. If I took a link out, it's gonna be too tight on his neck but he's got all that loose Sharpe skin, so it just gradually starts to slide down naturally on its own. So how can you make adjustments? This is the three millimeter collar. The sizing chart says this is the right size for Freddy. He's a 60 pound dog. This is designed for dogs that are 50 pounds and up. This one is the 2.25. Although it says this is for dogs that are 30 pounds and under, this actually gives a much better fit for a dog like Freddy. I just had to buy a couple extra of these links right here so I ordered a few extra of these and added it to the collar, and this is what it looks like. Here's Freddie on the 2.25, and here's his handler keeping him engaged, teaching him how to walk with him. Look at that happy dog. Very nice. Look at all that slack in that leash.
August 20th, I have a Leash Foundation course coming out. It's five videos, five days for 20 bucks. If you want first access to that, drop your email in the link below that's in the description. I had someone ask me recently, will the foundation course work for me? My dog has a high level of reactivity. My advice to that would be, you don't get to fast forward dog training. You don't get to cut corners. You can't jump to the honeymoon. You start at the beginning. I don't care if you've worked with the best dog trainer on the planet, if you already know everything, or if your dog's been to a great board and train and you've been through the whole gamut. If you are struggling in any way, shape and form, I highly encourage you to do the foundation course. It's 20 bucks. At the very, very least, you will get better. I promise you, there's nothing wrong with your dog. As always, if this video was helpful for you, like it, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. And remember guys, if you want a better dog, I'll see you guys in the next video.